Um, I'd like to bring uh, three hypotheses regarding technology to this session today. Um, first one being, I think we have recognized that technology is now a competitive differentiator, even in professional services, one might say. Um, and uh, the bad news is the time to invest is now still, even if you have already invested in going remote, etc. Um, the second hypothesis is that um, I think we need to change the way we treat technology in firms. So we need to treat it as a revenue driver, not a cost position, um, which is really a fundamental difference. Uh, and that leads to the third hypothesis, where I think if you want to treat it as a revenue driver, it means you need a different technology business management approach and an integration with traditional management reporting. So regarding this first hypothesis, um, I think um, competitive differentiation through technology is a reality today. Um, and I don't want to repeat you know, all the talk that we've probably had on, on these calls and, and, and many, many others regarding remote work and virtual engagement and all that. We will probably revisit those topics regularly from now on. Um, but we also know that you know, the uncertainty is here to stay, the price sensitivity is here to stay. And um, there is a different expectation now in terms of how we work with clients and how our employees work. And that is here to stay. So the line of visibility, how work gets done, has dramatically changed within firms and uh, how we interact with our clients. And um, I think when I look at the priority list that you presented earlier, Richard, um, I think technology plays a key role in many of these priorities. First and foremost, definitely operational performance, sales and marketing, et cetera. But I think most importantly um, is that the client experience has changed. And I think we are really bad at measuring experiences. We all know uh, the little poll that shows up when we roll off a Zoom call or a Teams call, which asks us to rate with stars, et cetera. How did you perceive this call? Was the sound and video quality okay? Uh, you can ask yourself how many firms do that with every client interaction in terms of content. How did you like how we presented the content? Um, how was the interaction? Um, how did you uh, find using our tools, etc.? cetera? Um, and I think there's a lot we can learn from, from technology. And I think our, both our client and employee experiences with technology um, need to get to a stage where we consciously measure them and treat them as uh, something that makes a difference from one firm to the next. And I can assure you it does. Both our employees and clients are telling us that. Um, so using technology for that levels the playing field in many ways, I think. And the firms um, which are investing now in creating better client and employee experiences are setting the expectation bar for those who follow. And the bar is being set right now. So this is why I believe we still need to continue to invest and way beyond uh, to what has already happened over the past couple of months. Um, I don't think it's a really good idea to, to wait for all of us to return to the offices so we don't have to invest. I think that's a really, really bad idea. Um, and that leads to my, to my second hypothesis. Uh, we need to treat technology as a revenue driver, not a cost position. Um, we can see that over the past couple of years already, technology spent in professional service firms, um, and I think I'm talking really all segments here, has increased both in absolute and relative numbers. Um, Gartner expects for our industry um, that we will have a continued 5 to 15 percent um, relative annual growth of technology spent, um, and that is factoring in the decreasing unit costs. So if we just say, okay, this is just a growing cost position, it's basically a race to the bottom. But if we think of technology really as a revenue enabler, it instills a different mindset within our firms, one that ultimately should lead us to us actually charging for technology or um, you know, if we want to spin it from another angle, at least consciously baking those costs into our service and subscription fees, delivery models, and therefore cost structures. And that means, um, we need to include technology views in our firm's internal management reporting, which really is my third hypothesis, as I, as I said in the beginning. So I believe in order to do that, we must build very different um, technology business management capabilities, really, to um, get to a thorough and, and really quantifiable understanding of how, for what, where, by whom, and how much technology is being used, um, which is obviously especially important if we somewhere down the line want to build uh, 
technology costs to our clients and, and pass that on. But I think the reality right now in many firms is one very far away from charging for technology. Um, I, I know it's already a daunting challenge in many firms to really think of uh, an IT department as something that is more than really a behind the scenes enabler infrastructure provider or service um, desk. But I think if we, um, if we use the current uh, developments, which in many firms means moving systems to the cloud, um, consciously rolling out tools um, to employees, if we treat this as an opportunity to actually get some measures in place that ultimately allow us to distribute IT costs across client engagements, um, across delivered client services or solutions, uh, internal practice groups, uh, we get to a place where we can really start managing technology consciously um, in the role that is starting to play in our client um, interactions, in uh, the way we work together, um, et cetera. So uh, practically that really means that um, IT organizations need to work together with the business um, in firms to develop service portfolios that um, are in business jargon, basically, um, that have units and price measures, et cetera, um, and that, yeah, really roll all the way up from, you know, the general ledger, the cost pool view into the typical IT view, um, or the internal typical functional units you would have in a, uh, in a larger IT department, and then rolls up into applications and then ultimately um, client services, because that is the only way we can um, really consider technology costs in client proposals, um, ensure accurate billing, et cetera. And um, yeah, well, as, as Richard said, um, obviously uh, size of KPMG uh, allows us to do maybe a little bit more around that, also means more complexity. And I think with the state of technology today, it is also possible and actually um, possibly a game changer for smaller firms as well.